These are our new little spy jigs. So these are a great little addition to our website for all of our little micro soft plastics. Great for panfish, um, also bass. We have a larger size here for creek bass, pond bass, you know, just your small to medium size bass fishing. So the two sizes that we're offering, this one here is a 1 30 seconds jig head on a size 6 hook. We also have a larger version with a little bit bigger prop here on a 1 16th ounce jig in a size 4 hook. So a little bigger, works better on our 2 inch baits, the ones that are a little bigger. The smaller one here, the 1 seconds, this one pairs up really great with our uh, little one and a half inch rip shad. This is kind of my favorite little bluegill spy jig rig right here. Now one thing you need to know about these little spy jigs, um, since we offer them now so small, this bait cannot be fished very quickly. That's a good thing. If you just take this, throw it out there, and just rip it back, um, you'll over kind of torque that prop and the jig will just kind of flail around. So what this requires is a very slow finesse presentation, um, which is one of the reasons this thing fishes so, so great. Now another thing this little guy does is when you throw it out there, let it sink. So on the drop, when this uh, bait is falling, this little prop is spinning as it's falling. And I have so many fish that just whack it while it's falling because it has that action with that prop. Um, as soon as I go to reel, I've, a fish has been sitting there chowing on it. So um, that's one thing to know about this little smaller one, this 130 seconds. Number six is fish it slow. If you fish this too fast, uh, it just it won't work as good. It won't swim as well. So um, once you fish it, you'll kind of get a feel for how fast is too fast um, and how too is slow is too slow. Because if you go too slow, you lose tail action on these little rip shads. These rip shads need a little bit more speed than, say, a slim shad. So with this guy, this slim shad, this tail is so much bigger and so much thinner right there at that joint that this slim shad needs barely any um, speed for that tail to kick. So it's one of the nice things about fishing this uh, slim shad is uh, you can creep back so, so slow and that tail still click or still kicks. Um, so you can fool a lot of fish that are pressured and pretty smart that have seen a lot of swim baits just zip past over their head. Um, this guy will fool them because you can slow it down and fish it so much lighter, which is a much more uh, natural presentation. So this little bigger prop here, you can also work it a little bit faster just because uh, it has more weight, a little bit bigger prop. So um, the 1 16th, you can zip a little quicker than that uh, 1 32nds. Um, you can see the size difference on the prop there. The 1 32nds is um, a fair bit, fair bit smaller prop there. So now these are not the only baits that we have that you can fish with your spy jig. You, of course, use our little curly tail. You can fish um, the bigger two and a quarter split tail minnow on that bigger 1 16th, or you can go down to a little one and a half inch split minnow um, on that little 1 seconds. You could fish the grub body paddle tails up here on that 1 16th, that bigger one. You could even fish this little g-tail on either because you can trim this g-tail down to a you know, a little one and a half inch, and you could put that on the one thirty seconds, or you could leave it a little longer and fish it on the one sixteenth. So um, we're pretty excited about these. Um, we're making these by hand one at a time ourselves for you guys, since you cannot find them anywhere else in these sizes. Um, but yeah, they're panfish killer and uh, little pond bass killers too. So you can find them on our website at uh, moondogbaitco.com. And I'll leave you here at the end um, of just some video footage of me fishing these and using them to catch panfish and bass. So that is the spy jig.
Thank you.